listening experience with me sniffling and coughing my way through it, so I decided I would leave it until I felt um, at least a bit better. Um, so apologies uh, for being absent um, throughout the actual Christmas period. Um, but I've had some wonderful comments from some of my listeners, um, fantastic comments. Um, I just want to do a quick shout out to um, a couple of people who really have um, give some great great um, feedback. The first is GDU Brow 13. GDU Brown 13. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it is a lady in the United States. And uh, she's been very complimentary with my channel and um, has commented on, on almost every whisper I've done so far and sent me some really nice comments um, in an email. So thank you very much. I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled that um, these whispers are helping people sleep and relax and um, unwind. Um, it's, it's absolutely amazing and it makes it all so worthwhile to, to get feedback like that. Um, if there's any particular um, whisper that you would like me to do or maybe read a, an excerpt from a special something, then you know you can always let me know and I'll be more than happy to oblige. But uh, yes, thank you very much for all the encouragement that uh, you've given me. Um, the other is for Jojo435. Um, again, a, a, a guy in the United States. I think it's a guy. My apologies if it's not. Um, but he keeps asking many times if I'm going to read any Rick uh, Royden books. Am I s pronouncing his surname correctly? Rick Royden. Um, and he's the guy who um, wrote all of the Percy Jackson stories, uh, which was made into a film a few years back. Um, so yeah, the answer to that is I'd be absolutely thrilled uh, to read that, and I will put that on my to-do list for 2012. Um, so yeah, um, I thought what I'd do basically is just ramble on about the year in general, 2011, the year it's been for me. Separate whisper with um, ideas and um, my plans for 2012. Um, so, yeah, so Christmas is fantastic. I, I love Christmas and I always feel a little sad when it's over. Um, and I took my decorations down yesterday. Ah, oh, shock horror. <laughs> I can, um, yeah, I can almost hear the gasp out there. Eve, which is tonight, and uh, I just wanted to have everything down so I can just relax tomorrow and I go back to work on Tuesday the 3rd of January. So I decided um, to take the decorations down, the tree, um, I've got this huge 10 foot tree uh, which comes in four sections and it's a really nice tree, It's um, it looks real, it's got acorns on it and it's fab and um, it took me about an hour to get um, the tree undressed then then have it dismantled and then I have to kind of um, flatten all the branches and push them all upwards and I twine them all together um, so they they're very neat and then I put them up the attic all neat ready for next year um, so, yeah, so I took all the garlands down and um, all the presents under the tree have now been put away. Um, any clothes I got have been, are now hanging up in my wardrobes and, um, oh, I got a great camera lens for my um, DSLR camera. Um, and it's a, um, it's a macro lens. It, it kind of um, allows me to get like great clarity for things far away so I can zoom right in. Um, it's lovely, it's really, really nice. I got that from my partner and um, I got a PS3. <laughs> so I finally um, got one of those almost ready when the, um, almost when the next PS is to come out. But 
so far I've been playing L.A. Noir, um, which is a game which came out earlier in the year, um, and basically I play a 1940s detective in the LAPD, and I go around solving crimes, um, and um, basically trying to move up the ranks of the LAPD. It's good fun, it's a, it's a little bloodthirsty, and uh, but it's, it's all good fun. You solve different crimes Which are kind of presented like episodes Of an old um, Sort of detective TV show Um, At the moment I'm on the homicide department um, And uh, yeah I'm really enjoying it, it's great Um, I'm also looking for If any of the listeners out there Can give me a beginner's guide To Skyrim I really fancy Skyrim I've looked at it on the shelves and then the game store but it looks very complicated um, as a beginner do I have to play the other games before it oblivion and whatever the other games are um, or can I just pick up Skyrim and play that um, independently and if so is it easy to get to grips with or is there something I need to know crucially um, so anybody out there who can give me some advice on Skyrim that will be gratefully received um, so yeah so my house is now Christmas free um, I've taken down every bit of lights and uh, decor that I had um, every room I tried to do a little something Christmas themed um, even the bedrooms um, had the colour change and parcels that I showed in an earlier video um, all the Christmas movies they've all gone now so it's almost as if it never happened. <laughs> um, but yeah, for tonight, um, I'm going to a friend's house, or we're going to a friend's house. Um, I'm leaving um, the cat behind for the first time alone. Um, so he's going to be spending New Year's Eve um, by himself. Poor little kitty. But I'm sure he'll be fine. We'll be back home first thing in the morning. Um, but I'm going to make sure there's plenty of food. very big as well. He's he's doubled the size from when I first got him. Um, and he's lovely. And uh, we wouldn't part with him. Um, so, yeah. So tonight I'm going to contribute some food at my friend's house and I've decided to. Um, they've got a, a very, um, what's the word for it? A spicy palate. So I'm going to make a fresh chicken gel frazy, which is a very mild curry dish, uh, very tomato based, um, and I've got my ingredients here, which I've already started doing, so um, it's basically, um, you need to marinate some chicken um, breast and fillets, so you need to dice them up and then marinate them um, in cumin coriander and turmeric and we leave that to marinate I put that out this morning and it's now in the fridge marinating so I'm going to create my sauce which I need onions two garlic cloves um, one green chilli now I'm a bit of a um, a bit of a wuss when it comes to chilies because I, I personally don't like anything too spicy um, so I'm only going to put one chilli in um um, you're meant to put about three in, one red and um, two green, but uh, too much for me. And I'm going to use some passata, tomato passata, half a pint of water, um, one tablespoon of ground coriander, one tablespoon of ground cumin, and one teaspoon of turmeric. Uh, turmeric, sorry. So we're going to chop my onion finely and fry it with one green chilli and the garlic, which has been um, obviously um, diced, cut up, and uh, we're going to brown that, then add a half a pint of water and simmer for 20 minutes. Next, I'm going to get my tomato passata and uh, gently heat another pan and um, fry the ground coriander, cumin and turmeric in a 
splash of oil. Then add the passata and simmer for around, say, 10 minutes. Um, then I'm going to add the onion mix to the tomato and simmer for 20 minutes. And then fry the chicken in a little oil. Stir occasionally until it's all browned and, and cooked. Then um, add the chopped onion and red pepper. And then I'm going to add the sauce together with the chicken, simmer for 20 minutes. Um, add some garam masala, which is a, a mix spice, a mix of spices, should I say. And then we serve with rice and a fresh naan bread. Um, now when I go to uh, um, serve the gel frazy, I'll put some fresh coriander leaves chopped up just for garnish as well. That's really nice and it's very, very mild. So don't worry about it. Um, burning your mouth off. Um, so yeah, that in a nutshell, that's what I'm doing for tonight. I've also got some nibbles, things have been left off from over Christmas, such as um, I've got a nice cheese board with different cheeses with um, crazy things like cranberry and apricots. Um, I've got um, lots of uh, crisps or potato chips, as you call them in the US. Lots of chocolates and uh, nibbly things, so I think there's going to be enough food for everybody. Um, I just thought I'd end by just recapping what a crazy year 2011 has been. It's been very turbulent here in the UK and, of course, overseas. Um, it's been a year in which we saw the royal wedding of um, Prince William and Kate Middleton. That was in April the 29th. That seems like a million years ago now, doesn't it? Um, we had the um, we had the death of Osama bin Laden. That was in May. That came as a surprise, and the, there's been some huge changes to the Arab world in 2011. And of course, the death of Colonel Gaddafi in October. Um, here in England, we had those crazy riots, which took place in July, in which um, a lot of youth and opportunists took to the streets and looted shops openly. Um, that was such a, a shocking display, um, and the what was magical about that event was how the communities all came together afterwards and helped to um, tidy up the cities after the riots. Um, Friends, um, teachers, doctors, everybody basically joined in and, and helped to tidy up. It was a great display of unity after those horrible few days. And uh, all of the culprits had been more or less apprehended now and given really stiff jail sentences. So, um, yeah, I hope we never see anything like that again in the, in the United Kingdom. I think the social media obviously had a lot to play as well because they used um, Facebook and Twitter to communicate amongst themselves and organise riots in different cities in England. Um, it happened in London, Birmingham, Manchester. I'm not aware if it started anywhere else. It certainly didn't um, happen in my neck of the woods, which is in northeast England. Let's thank God for that, yeah. Um, of course, we've had all the other uprisings in Egypt and Tunisia. Um, not to mention Libya. And uh, it's also been um, a year which we lost Amy Winehouse, which was a great British talent. Um, I think that was around July. I remember where I was when I found out she died. Um, I was out with some friends in the city of Newcastle. And uh, the news came as a huge shock. Um, but yeah, um, I lost my own aunt this year, if you recall, from some of my whispers earlier on, and uh, that was quite a blow. Um, we got Pookie, which is our little cat. His real name's Roscoe, but we call him Pookie. <laughs> um, so there's been some ups and downs of the 2011, but the idea is just to learn and um, move forward with things. Um, I've had two holidays
Excelsior won, which was to Amsterdam, and that was in June, and then it went to Florida in October, and got um, and got delayed by three days on the way home because of the snow in New York. So yeah, it's been a crazy year, hasn't it? Um, of course, I joined Facebook, um, not Facebook. I joined. YouTube on the 28th of February. I've just checked on my channel page um, and wow that seems like so long ago but it's nearly a year and uh, I've got lots of sub subscribers now. I think I've got about 450 odd subscribers and I'm very thankful for everybody who listens to my whispers and gives comments and suggestions. I'm so eternally grateful to everybody and I will continue to do more of the same in 2012. Um, and uh, I've noticed there hasn't been a great deal of activity on YouTube over Christmas. I think there, there was one collaboration with a Christmas song uh, which was really good um, but there hasn't been um, much else going on I think so it's gone pretty quiet. Well, at least it seems, anyway, from the subscribers I have, or the subscriptions. So, um, I'm wishing everybody a fantastic New Year. Um, may it be healthy, happy, and prosperous. Um, and peaceful. I'll be returning with some creation box things as well, and setting all my goals and objectives for 2012. And, uh, it's a big year for me, as you already know, I'm um, quitting work, well not quitting work, totally, but leaving for three months unpaid to uh, make a feature film, so that's a big, huge step for me, um, but I'll talk more about my objectives in my next whisper, which will focus on the new year, so I think I will leave it there, and I will again wish you a very good time tonight. I hope everybody takes care and I will see you in the new year. Thank you.